people get famous, we see them lose all manner of sense, all manner of morals, all manner of values. What's up you guys and welcome back again on another episode today. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing good. And if you're joining for the very first time, thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the conversation that has been going on in the black community. Recently, Keith Lee went to a restaurant in Atlanta. He wasn't treated well. He made a review about the restaurant and the whole thing has sparked a conversation from different angles. There are so many people on his side saying this is the accountability that we need in the black community. And there are some people even saying that he's trying to bring down black businesses like black people do this to their own. But this is what he does. He goes to this restaurant he doesn't even expect a special treatment from them because he wants to get the real experience so he can properly give a review when he went to this restaurant in atlanta he wasn't treated well he made a review about it and the conversation has just been a lot on TikTok and on Twitter. There is this lady who made a video that went viral. She talked about Kikli and accountability that I want to share with you guys because I want us to have this conversation. And without wasting much time, let me just roll the clip. I think the reason why black people are so intrigued with Keith Lee's visit to Atlanta is because as a collective, we're all starting to question the way we approach accountability within the black community. The biggest disconnect in the black community is how we approach accountability. You have the black left that's like, our conditions in this country are not our fault. The oppression we face in this country is not our fault. So it's not our responsibility to fix it. We need to hold those in charge accountable. We have to hold those with the power accountable because unless they decide to fix the system that they created, there's nothing that we can do. Then you have the other side that's like, listen, your oppressor is never going to voluntarily stop oppressing you. They're never going to do that because they stand to benefit nothing. They're not going to do it. So you have to pull yourselves up by the bootstraps. I hate that phrase. It's your responsibility to improve your own community because if you're waiting for your oppressor to do that, they're just never going to do that. Then the left is going to come back and say, hello, have you not been paying attention to black history? We've done that on multiple occasions. Look at Tulsa. Look at the Black Panthers. On multiple occasions, we try to take charge of our own communities and do our own thing. And, and we were systematically shut down. And then the other side is going to be like, oh, no, no, no. well, we have to try different methods. Like, it's just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. And I think the the vast majority of black people especially the vast majority of educated black people see both sides and understand both sides however after a while you start to feel gaslit you start to feel like damn can we ever hold each other accountable like black educators can't even have real conversations with black parents and say listen our kids are not performing well they cannot read at the grade level that they should be reading at they are not being they're, they can't do basic math like y'all need to spend more time with your kids you need to discipline them more we can't even do that without trying to get each other fired like black people can't even get a restaurant reservation in a timely manner without jumping through hella hoops without black businesses making them feel shitty you really start to feel like you have to accept lesser from your people because you're black and because you want to give the benefit of the doubt and because we all understand the oppression that we face and the obstacles that we have to go through there's no accountability happening there's no accountability happening and then when you try to do that everybody wants to talk about the white man and oppression and all this stuff and it's just like bro but this is what does the white man have to do with me not being able to get a reservation at a restaurant in atlanta even though i called an hour in advance even though i'm here at the parking lot i've been waiting in the parking lot for three hours so i think what's so exciting is that keith lee is showing people how to hold other black people accountable with love and i think we're going to start seeing a shift in how we hold each other accountable and instead of us being so quick to point fingers we're really going to turn the mirror on ourselves and because that's the only way our communities can improve you know what i'm saying so it's interesting to watch i'm excited to see it what do you guys think about what he said if you have not seen the kitley's video where he called out this restaurant i am going to put a link to that video in the description so you can go watch it when he was narrating his experience with that restaurant it was so calm he was not shouting you can tell that he was trying to call them out to a love he meant no harm he didn't say anything bad exactly about them he only narrated how he was treated this is why i keep asking that the people who are not in support of what he did were they expecting him to lie? If we literally want growth in the community, if we really want to progress, 
are we not expecting people to be honest? Like, if you are going online to check reviews of a restaurant, imagine the people dropping the re those reviews are lying, and then you get to the restaurant and you didn't expect what you read online, aren't you going to feel a certain way? He has so much integrity, and this is the reason why he hoarders anonymously, or you just go there without even expecting any special treatment. I don't know exactly what the people who are not in support of what he did want him to have done in that aspect knowing fully well that this is exactly what he does like this restaurant reviews food on tiktok for people and he has made a massive impact in the community and to see that there were messages of some people saying oh you better watch your back you're talking down on black business this is not the way to go it's very very funny there are people as well stitching to this video that i would like you guys to see so without wasting much time let's just check out what the people are still saying about Kitley and accountability in the black community. Guys, I think I finally figured out the problem with Keith Lee. The issue is that we've been so used to seeing people go from being viral to being famous, which rarely even ever happens nowadays, but he made it through that pipeline. People get famous, we see them lose all manner of sense, all manner of morals, all manner of values immediately. But then Keith came along and he has maintained integrity and his integrity is holding other institutions accountable because the thought is if i can just get keith lee in my restaurant we'll blow up but then the problem with keith is in order for you in order for keith's magic to work for you you actually have to be an upstanding restaurant you actually have to be a restaurant that treats all your customers the same because he's never going to come in and be like i'm keith lee he has integrity and we as a society are not used to seeing that when people get famous they immediately go left and keith has proven which also i think is a good lesson for content creators nowadays is that you actually don't have to lose your morals when you get famous like you actually don't have to lose your sense when you get clout and when you become a household name you can actually maintain integrity if anything that's how you become a household name by maintaining integrity by maintaining just having a standard of value and so now people are big mad i saw this stupid tweet yesterday that was like keith don't even know how to use his clout and that's why you would never have clout because you think that clout means i get to act a fool i get to do whatever because i'm now a household name soon if he if keith lee actually had that type of attitude about him he would never have gone where he was or he wouldn't have been able to sustain it but now because of this anytime he's not trending his integrity speaks well for him so i hope that this would be a sign for all my content creator babes that if you're ever worried about like how do i keep both because it seems to be that in our world you can get a bag faster if you step on people's toes or you know just go the shorter route and just kind of get shit done quick let keith lee be proof that if you just keep doing what you're doing and you learn how to cater to the people cater to your audience baby it's only a matter of time you're gonna pop off and pop off well and respectably and with godliness shout out to keith he is my goat as a collective we're all starting to question the way we approach accountability You ate that up! Most times when I hear right-wing conservatives speak, the thing that they always emphasize is the victimhood of the left. And while I don't agree with everything that they say, I will agree with that. Not only are we allowing our past to hold us back, we also don't want to actually rise above the oppression. We want to be the oppressor. We need to learn how to acknowledge our past but not be held back by it. And we need to learn how to lend a helping hand in our community. Why do we not have systems at play to help other black families that actually work? Why is there a whole fucking black billionaire and the fucking hood still looks like the hood? It don't make no sense. Dr. Umar said it the best. There are systems at play and there needs to be systems installed to fix them, not individualism, not this whole I'm gonna get on and I and then I'm gonna stunt on you for getting on. There needs to be actual systems and communities put together to help everybody out. But we just want to be better than each other. Don't make no sense. You know, the other day I was talking about how the world would be a better place if people would just be more accountable. And you know, it's kind of crazy to me that I seen this tweet and she talking about some F. Keith Lee. 
because he made a review about his experience. And then she was talking about how he was bashing black businesses and this and that. Where's the accountability? These black businesses need to do better business. That's what it sounds like to me. They need to be accountable. They need to say, oh, you know what? This is probably not the best policy for us to have. They need to actually look at the policies that they have in place and do better. Simply put, what y'all not going to do is sit here and be mad at Keith Lee. No, you need to be mad at the restaurants because he come to the city to try food and Y'all got all these rules, all these policies. And then when he show his face, then it want to be a change of story. He simply said the same thing in every single video. He just want to be treated like a regular person. That is it. That is all. He wants the, the regular experience. He's going to pay for his food just like a regular person would. So don't treat him any different. He wants to be able to just try the food. But it's just like if you can't go in there and try the food because of the, all of these policies and procedures that they have in place, like, He's just telling his story. Simple. And, you know, literally, I know it'll never happen. We'll never see a day in this earth. And I'm usually very optimistic. But I know that the reality is we'll never see a day in this earth where people are 100% accountable. Them business owners could have got online and simply said, you know what? I'm so happy for this critique. I'm going to do better. You see the one business owner on there talking about who is Keith Lee. What? No, I'm going to be like, you know what? This has allowed me to reflect. You know what? They need me to write for them. This has allowed me to reflect on this critique. I think we could improve our processes and our wait times. And we're going to start implementing reservations. I think that'd be best so that we can make sure we're not getting at capacity so that people can have an opportunity to actually try our restaurants. I'm so thankful for Keith Lee and his critique. And I'm going to do better moving forward. I hope that you all would still love to try my food and try our restaurant out someday when you're in Atlanta. I can promise you that it'll be a much better experience. That wasn't hard at all. That wasn't hard at all. I think the reason why black people are so intrigued with Keith Lee's visit to Atlanta is because- I am so happy that the conversation opened up. Just like I said yesterday, I'm like, I feel like this is really gonna open up a big conversation. And if you guys saw Keith Lee's responses already, they were beautiful, chef's kiss. I don't know if he has a, a team with him or a marketing manager or a PR professional on the back end well well done in his response because exactly what is he supposed to do he's been doing this exact same structure of content for so long now that when he then utilized that same structure in a black mecca like atlanta the outlash and the you know response that he was getting and the businesses were getting because the death threats and all of that it's just too much and why does it have to go there when we're just trying to hold accountability to a business because again let's just erase the fact it's a black owned business at the end of the day, there's certain measures, certain processes, procedures, order of operations within a business that are necessary for it to succeed and for you to have anyone to have a good experience. So there's just a lot of consideration to be had and really a lot of emotional humility is needed for these business owners to really sit down, look at what their business is currently doing, what they desire it to do, and how it can help in the community around it, right? Because community is a big part, especially in the restaurant industry, proximity of your community is everything. So if the people in proximity to your business don't even want to come and support, And then this even goes in other industries. I personally work in social media marketing and I genuinely have had really bad experiences with helping smaller owned businesses, black owned, minority owned. And in terms of that, a lot of us end up going and leaning in more towards bigger contracts, corporate contracts, things that are more consistent and that are for sure a dollar, right? Where it's like, we're not gonna you know, have late payments or just negative issues and experiences going on. And that's unfortunate, but that is the truth. We need to have these conversations and open the space up to really 
get somewhere and not talking where you're getting to a certain point to live a lifestyle getting to a certain point to actually be a boss and a leader i'm sorry but you are not a boss a leader until you're able to offer opportunities to the people below you or the community around you like that's really a boss a boss has employees a boss has connections and is networking and providing to the community a leader is doing those things right so really what is the goal of your business and of your brand Keith Lee makes it very clear what his branding is, what his messaging is, what his intention is. And if it rubs people the wrong way in Atlanta, it is what it is. It's basically what he's saying. It is what it is, but we need to have these conversations and I'm never going to lie. Is the violence and all the extra stuff necessary? Absolutely not. Like, why is it even happening? Please stop that. Like, be for real. But the conversations will need to be had. So I, I completely understand that and I'm glad we're opening the conversation up. I even saw people talking about the beauty estheticians and hair stylists as well. So we need to have this conversation and hold each other accountable regardless of the situation because how are all of us going to get to success and really trickle down to our generations like generational wealth, right? Okay. I love it. I'm so happy. Watch her video. It was so good. Let me hear what you guys think about what the whole said and let me hear what you think about the whole Keith Lee situation because getting death threats, getting so much um, in human messages, tweets, it's very, very uncalled for. This is the same structure that he has been using to review food since we've known Keith Lee on TikTok. And why do they need, why does he need to change it when it comes to black owned businesses if we are all about growing our community and seeing our community progress actually like... I really want to know is it really necessary and the people who are not in support of him i hope they speak out more on what they think he should have done in situation like that i hope they tell us how they willingly want someone to lie their audience about an experience they never had integrity is very very important because it's something that will hold you down when other things are going against you and i think this is what is working for kit lee at this point let me hear your thoughts in the comment section what do you guys think and make sure you subscribe before you go and i am going to talk to you guys in the next one. Bye and I love you guys.